SharePoint Designer 2010 is the premier tool to configure and customize SharePoint 2010. Best of all, it's a free software package provided by Microsoft. Now, having said that, formal training in the use of this tool is a necessity to use it properly without causing unintended damage to your SharePoint environment. In this video, I'll explore the SharePoint Designer 2010 environment and a new way of navigating that environment, that user experience. Keep in mind that SharePoint Designer 2010 is not compatible with SharePoint 2007, meaning you cannot open SharePoint 2007 sites in SharePoint Designer 2010. What you're looking at right now is called the Backstage, and this Backstage appears in all the different Office 2010 applications now. You'll find it in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. And this Backstage is where you can open up a site first. Once you have the site opened up here, then later you can come back to this Backstage by clicking on the File menu that appears on the top left to uh, do any work on your site, creating components, etc. What I'm going to do right now is open up a site. There's a site called Sales that I have a location connection to, so I'll click on that. And if you didn't have that uh, location, of course, the first time you try to open up a SharePoint site, you have to just type in the actual address, the URL for the site address, and uh, just click on the Open button. So now that I have the site open, the first thing to look at is the navigational components. On the left side that I'm highlighting right now in red is the Quick Launch. The Quick Launch menu, just like the SharePoint Quick Launch menu, gives you all the different components of a SharePoint site. So you see here workflows, lists and libraries, uh, the actual main page, the main site name, which is sales in this case, master pages, data sources, all those things appear uh, to easily get to in the Quick Launch menu. Then on the top you have the ribbon, and of course the ribbon is everywhere these days. In SharePoint 2010 you have a ribbon, in Word 2007, uh, 2010 you have a ribbon and Excel everywhere you have a ribbon. So you have that on top and in the middle is the summary page where you have all the different components of the object that you're looking at right now. So what we're looking at at this point in time is the uh, sales site, uh, sales site object, meaning it shows a title as sales, which is the name of the site, the description of the site, which is not defined yet. And it shows all different components within that site. And uh, if I went ahead and uh, clicked on something else like lists and libraries, here's all the different lists and libraries that exist in this environment, uh, in this uh, site. Now, when I do click on a component in the nav navigation quick launch, like lists and libraries, the ribbon changes. Uh, it, because it's context sensitive, the ribbon actually changes and shows me the new components for that, that I can uh, use to act upon that object that I've clicked on. So when I click on Listen Libraries, now it tells me I can create new lists, I can create new libraries, etc. Clicking on Workflow shows me all different workflows, and now of course it shows me all different actions I can take on the workflow in the ribbon. Same thing for all different other libraries that I have out there. Going back to the uh, Sales Site Summary page, you can see there's a title, description, you have the permissions also showing up in the summary page, the subsites underneath, sales, customization, settings, all those things appear in the summary page. And that is the same exact thing for other objects, other entities in the site. So if I click on, for example, calendar, now it shows me properties of the calendar, the name, the description, the views, forms that are serving up the calendar uh, appointments, customizations. If there's any workflows attached to it, it will show me the workflows. Currently there aren't any. And then also general settings that are there as well. Clicking on workflow, now it shows me a particular workflow settings. So this exact uh, concept is there everywhere in SharePoint. Uh, you at any time you go to SharePoint Designer object, it shows you the summary components of that object that you can act upon easily.